Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kelly and I resell under the name Closet Hustler. And I resell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Tradesy. However, I'm thinking about stopping Tradesy because I've only sold one thing on there and um, it was uh, New With Tags, Luna Lux, I believe, uh, dress from Revolve. And it sold for a lot of money. I want to say it was around $80, but that's the only sale I've had on there. And then I've had nothing except for one message about a pair of shoes. So I'm not sure if that platform is just not busy or if it's only, I think that only like really nice new with tags items sell there. I'm not sure. So if you've had good or bad experiences with Tradesy, then please tell me in the comments below because I don't know if I really want to waste my time cross-listing on there if it's just for nothing because nothing happens on there. Um, but I had a huge Goodwill haul. So what happened was um, I've been really trying to build up my Poshmark closet this year because I totally neglected it. And I went um, thrifting on a Sunday, not this Sunday, but the Sunday before. And I was sitting there going through the tops and this woman looks at me and says, what color is a dollar today? And I said, there's something that's a dollar today? And she's like, yeah. And I didn't know what it was all about and I kind of just did my thing. And when I was cashing out, I found out that every week they put some a different tag color on clearance for a dollar so like here is one of the shirts I got so the tag the Goodwill tag here is a color I don't know if you can see that so it's yellow so two weeks ago pink was on was a dollar and then I can't went back this Sunday and let me tell you I was psyched I woke up and I was so excited to go to Goodwill to the dollar days to see what was going on because the first week I didn't really know and I did get a couple items that were only a dollar and they were good things and um, I should do a video on that haul and then this week I went and I went and I was like got there right before they opened and there was like 50 people in line waiting to get in there and um, I'm like oh my gosh and the Sunday before it was really busy too I didn't know what happened I'm like everyone woke up and wanted to go to Goodwill but it's because it, it was dollar days so I got a lot this week this week green was on sale for a dollar I don't really know what the different colors mean but I got a lot of stuff and a lot of good stuff um, I was really really psyched about this so I spent $185.41 and I got 50 items and I did the math and that breaks down to 291 an item so I could do it that way and 20 things are shoes so I think I'm gonna do a separate video on the shoes because I got a lot of shoes and a lot of good shoes so I'm just gonna start with the clothes now um, and I'll tell you which ones were a dollar and then I paid full price for some so I got this Foxcraft button down and I've never sold this brand before. I briefly looked up the comps and they looked okay, but then I just looked them up again and now I'm not so sure. So we'll see how they do. This is in perfect condition and this was not a dollar, but it's, I mean, it's like brand new. So it will definitely sell. It's a really pretty blue. This one is one of my favorites. Now, I found this one in with the coats. I think someone was stashing it. This is a dollar. It's a sleeveless top by, and then it's got a keyhole back. And it is by Diane Von Furstenberg. Can you see that tag? For $1 green tag hidden in with the coats I totally think someone stashed it this is this was in the boutique so I'm not sure how your Goodwills are set up mine are totally different because um, all the stores 
here are called Goodwill Outlets. So when everyone, when I was starting to resell and I was watching YouTube videos and everyone's like, oh, I went to the bins at the Goodwill Outlet. I would go to our store and I'd look around and I think there's no bins. What are they talking about? So up here where I live, it's called the Goodwill Clearance Center is the bins. And then in the Goodwill Outlet, we have a boutique. And that's where all like the higher end stuff is marked up. So this was marked up to $8.99 and this was a dollar because it was green. And this is a Zara men's just navy blue polo. So I picked it up. I actually have a Zara men's in my store right now. Um, a polo kind of like that, but I do like selling Zara and I haven't sold it recently. I kind of got away from it because it's kind of like fast fashion. So if you get something that's a couple years old, it's not really in style. And I just felt I wasn't up to date with the Zara collection to really buy it. I don't know, I would have to research it to buy it. Then I found this, and this I was really excited about. This is an UMG off the shoulder dress. And um, I have never found UMG before at the thrift. So I was really excited to find it because that was one thing that I always had an eye out for. Now I just need to find um, a Show Me Your Moo Moo. I have never found that brand before. And then this was this a dollar yes this was a dollar this is Maeve from anthropology I don't know if this is gonna show up Maeve from anthropology and it's just like a black sleeveless dress with tiered ruffles it's really cute and this was not a dollar but this was a moth by Anthropology. Uh, moth, it's like a cable knit sweater, but it's pretty see-through. I mean, it's got big holes, but I did look it up and I found the um, stock photo and I looked up comps and I think it's pretty good on Poshmark. So I'm really excited about this. It's really cute. Like, I really like the multicolors. And it's in perfect, perfect condition. Then this was a dollar. Now this is a brand that I don't usually pick up. This is Jessica Simpson. And I have sold some of her shoes before. And some of her shoes I will pick up, but I've never sold any of her clothes. But this was just so cute. It's pink floral and it's got this crisscross top that I really like in the front so it's my size so if anything I can just keep it but um, I did kind of look up the comps really fast and I think they're okay I mean it's it's very cute this was a dollar this is 41 Hawthorne um, if you don't know 41 Hawthorne is a brand in stitch fix and it does okay this has like metal they're not really buttons just like metal around here it's really cute v-neck I think it would be really flattering on this is a dollar another one for a dollar this is cabbie so Cabby has a following and I tend to get it if it's in good shape. This is in perfect shape. Everything I got pretty much is in perfect condition. Um, this is like new. I thought it was really cute for summer and um, spring's coming up soon and people are going to start shopping for spring and summer. So I picked it up because it was a dollar and I like Cabby. Okay, this one I have never sold before, but ironically, I had just watched a YouTube video about somebody talking about this brand, and I like the saying on the front. This is Nasty Gal, and it says, Girls Bite Back, which I liked. So I picked it up, and this was a dollar. It's in perfect condition, like new. 
This is another cabbie. So this was not a dollar, but I found this in the jackets. This is thick, it's warm, it's almost like fleecy, but it's a lightweight jacket and it's cropped. So it's really short, kind of like a shrug almost, cropped, lightweight jacket. It's in perfect condition, like new. This wasn't a dollar, but this is a free people tunic. So I don't know if you can see the free people, but it's really cute. And free people is, I know it can be kind of hit and miss, but I really, really like this. And I have a hard time passing up free people anyway, because I really like free people. Then I got Torrid, and if you're not familiar with Torrid, this should be on your bolo list. If you don't know what a bolo list is, it's be on the lookout. Um, so Torrid is plus size clothing, and it sells really well for me. I mean, it doesn't go for a ton, but it sells consistently. And this is in perfect condition, black and white, striped knit. And it's a torrid size two, which I think uh, works out to be like an XXL. This is not a dollar. This is Eileen Fisher. This is a button down, but the buttons are hidden. And it's in perfect condition, like an olive green. Eileen Fisher, I tend to pick up if it's in good condition, obviously. Let's see. Well, this is a new brand for me, but I love it. Every piece I see, I really like. This is New With Tags Sanctuary. This, I believe this is sold at Nordstrom. And this is really cute. It's black and glittery, and it has a knot in the front, I think. Yeah, like a front knot. New with tags, so cute. It would be really great for like a night out. Does anyone have those anymore? I can't tell you the last time I, I got to go out. But if you have one, you should get a shirt like that. Now this one, I had never heard of this brand before. And I was, I was going through the racks, I felt it, and I could tell from the material that it was quality. And it just felt so soft. And um, I had to look it up. And I looked up comps and I did it really fast. And it, it seemed okay. I mean, nothing like great but solid like maybe $25 it's called Jack's girlfriend but Jack's is spelled kind of funny and it's just a flannel button-down but it is so soft I kind of wish it was my size because it is so soft I think it's a small I'll have to look I can I found the size somewhere I think on the bottom tag but I think it's a small and it's not my size and let me tell you it is it's cozy so I picked it up this was a dollar this is a new brand to me also it's a t-shirt that says soul cycle so I'm not even familiar really what soul cycle is but I know things like this have a following and they they do well a lot of the time. So I looked it up and you can tell it's a soul cycle tag and the comps were good. So I picked it up for a dollar. I really like these dollar sales because it's giving me a chance to try things that I normally wouldn't try. And just the Goodwill was just some days, you know, you go in and you find a ton of stuff and everything's in great condition. And some days you find nothing this was a day I found a lot of stuff. 
this was a dollar I'm pretty sure yep cloth and stone so this isn't doing as great as it used to so I think cloth and stone used to be sold at anthropology and then I think now it's sold at TJ Masks. do you hear my daughter um, but I have a theory because there's a lot of brands that used to sell well and they aren't selling as well anymore. So I went into Marshall's recently and saw that they had Lucky Brand that they were selling, Free People that they were selling, TJ Maxx is selling Cloth and Stone, you know, they sell Michael Kors and all those designer brands that used to do well that just don't resell that well anymore. And I think the reason is that it's sold at places like TJ Maxx and Marshall's. I've never heard that from anybody else. I don't know if that's true. That's just my theory. But this was really cute. It's like got kind of a fringe at the bottom and then it's split. It's really long in the back and it's split. So I really, I liked it and it was a dollar and they still, Cloth and Stone still sells. Not as much as it used to, but it still does all right. This one was a dollar, and if it wasn't a dollar, I don't usually pick up this brand, but this is in perfect condition. So I'm maybe I would have to try it, because like I said, it's in perfect condition, and it's really cute. This is One World Live and Let Live. And I think this is sold at Free People, but I'm not 100%. And this is like a sheer tunic, and it's got a shirt underneath, so it's not see-through. And then it's got a split in the back and some gemstones on the front. And it's really cute, and it's like new. So we'll see how it does. Then I got this. This was not a dollar, but it's a Columbia jacket and it's in really good shape and sometimes I've bought in Columbia jackets before so I live in New York there's a lot of skiing and I've come across a lot of Columbia jackets and sometimes they're unzipped because there's the fleece inside the jacket and they charge you for the fleece and for the jacket separately so instead of paying this was eight eleven, I think. So instead of paying eight eleven, you're paying it twice, or you're paying for like a lightweight fleece, and then you're paying for a jacket. So it ends up being more. But this was together, and they only charged me for one jacket. And this is in perfect condition, pretty much. I haven't gone over it with a fine tooth comb, but I don't see anything wrong with it. It's really nice. What else I have okay these were a dollar not your daughter jeans so I've sold a lot of these and I have a lot of these in my closet right now um, these are checkered capri or cropped whatever you want to call it and I thought that they were really cute with the checkers so and they were a dollar so I went and picked them up and I like um, these are aerial crop yeah, I like Not Your Daughter Jeans because they're high-rise. High-rise is in right now. Um, they usually sell well. I've, I have a lot in my store right now, though, that I haven't sold. So I don't know why that is. Maybe I've priced them too high. Okay, this is a new brand for me, but I've heard other people talk about it, and I know it does okay. It's called Bar 3. You can see that. And this is a really cute cardigan. And it's black, like just black and white cardigan in really good shape. Oh, there's a string in there that I could just cut, but it's in really good shape. I think this was a dollar too. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yep, a dollar. Okay, this is a brand that's new to me, but I felt this and I was like, this has got to be cashmere. This is quality. And it is, it's cashmere. And it's called Garnet Hill. Or it may be, have like 
Is that a stitch or a line? It may be Garnet Hill. If you can see that. And it's 100% cashmere. Very soft. I looked up the comps and really fast and I don't remember what they were, but cashmere usually does well. So this one was my favorite. I think I'm keeping this. So this is a seven, like fun fatty sweater that's so soft. And I looked at it and this was in the coats too. And in a different spot though from the um, Diane von Furstenberg. So maybe you should check out the coats, like people stashed up there. I, I don't really know what's up with it, but this had a thread hanging out. And I was like, oh my gosh, it has a pull in the sweater. That's so sad. This is so um, comfortable. So I just looked at it and I'm like, that's totally fixable. And in the middle of Goodwill, I pushed the thread back through and it is now perfect. And I think I may keep it because I just love it. It's so soft, but this is not cashmere, but it's very soft and I just, I just love it. I may list it, but I may just keep it. But it just goes to show, like, I fix so many things that at first glance, I'm like, oh, I should leave it because of the condition. But, like, if it's a pull, you can just pull it through the back. I've gotten so many stains out with shout wipes. Um, it's just never... Stains, you can tell sometimes that it's not going to come out. But... Sometimes you can look at it and be like, I bet I can get that out. I think people just donate stuff sometimes without even trying to get it out. But, and this Sunday on this trip, I came across a Rails button down. So if you don't know Rails, that definitely should be on your bolo list. Um, a button down retails for like $158. And they're really nice. A lot of celebrities wear them. I know um, Penny and Big Bang used to wear them a lot. I've got one in my closet right now. But I found one and I was so excited that I found another Rails. And then when I was looking things over at the end, I saw it had like a big, it looked like a wine stain. It wasn't that big. It was like, maybe like this. And it looked like a wine stain. And I'm like, oh, I, this is not something that I think I can get out. And this woman next to me is like, oh, you sh I used to work at a dry cleaner. This is how you can get it out. And I'm like, it looks like it's really set in there. So I left it behind. It was very sad. But some things you can get out. This I got for a dollar. So this was also in the boutique. This is 100% cashmere. Worthington. So this is a brand that I wouldn't pick up if it wasn't cashmere. Because um, obviously cashmere does really well and so does Angora. But I was really excited about that because it was in the boutique. I think it was probably marked up to $8.99 or something around around that price. Okay, so this one I was really excited to. This was right next to the seven sweater in the coat section. This is a Betsy Johnson sweatshirt. So if you don't know Betsy Johnson, she should be on your bolo list too. I don't find Betsy Johnson that often. I have found um, some purses by her and I found one shirt by her that was really cute and it said Namaste Beaches and there was a huge stain on it so I had to leave it behind. So this one is perfect. I was very excited and it's really cute. It's got some slits up the side and then it's got the Betsy Johnson metal tag right there in the coat section with the seven sweater. They were right next to each other. This one I was excited for too. So this was a dollar. This is that brand Sanctuary. And this sweater is called an eyelash sweater. If you didn't know um, the name for it. So that will help you like find the style, the clothes names, the comps better, the stock photo it's a really good keyword to know so this is a sanctuary eyelash sweater and it's really cute I don't think it's my size but I have a thing for sweaters 
So um, the seven sweater, the eyelash sweater, all these cashmere sweaters, they're just calling my name. But I think this is actually a little small for me. It's a size small. Then this one, so I found this a week prior. This was in the boutique and it's a dress by Bowden. And Bowden should also be on your bolo list. But this is like a knit three quarter sleeve dress with pockets, which who doesn't love a dress with pockets? And um, it was marked up to $12.99. So I was like, I don't know if I really wanna pay $12.99 for a Bowden dress. Um, it may be a different style, but probably not this style. This was, I mean, it's in good shape. It's a little worn, but you, I mean, you can tell that it's been worn, but it's in good shape. And then I came back and it was a dollar on sale a week later. So I scooped it up, obviously. Okay, these were not on sale, but I got them. These are level 99 Lily Skinny Straight Leg Jeans. So if you don't know level 99, they're sold at Anthropology, and um, I've had good luck with them. I have a pair in my closet right now that I just put up recently, and it's gotten you know some interest right away. I've sold them before. This is like a grayish color. Very cute. So I used to bring a tape measure with me. At Goodwill and I was totally that person that was measuring the rise of jeans like on the rack so these are not high-rise and but they're not low-rise either I don't think I think they're mid-rise actually they may be low-rise now that I'm looking at them I try not to get low-rise jeans anymore unless it's like a really great pair of jeans I try to only get mid-rise and high-rise but these look like they actually could be low rise. Maybe I should put that measuring tape back in my purse and be that person at the Goodwill. These were really cute. These were a dollar. No, they weren't a dollar, but I picked them up. These are cut from the cloth. Here, you can see here, cut from the cloth. And they're black leather pants. So the whole pants aren't leather. They're black pants, but they have like leather strips on the side, and the waistband is leather. I did not look the uh, the comps for these, so I have no idea how they do, but I thought that they were really cute. And cut from the cloth, it's not something that's going to sell really high, but I think it sells consistently. And that's cut from the cloth is another Stitch Fix brand. <sighs> Okay, so that is all the clothes that I got. Now I got a ton of shoes. Um, I think I can just go into them just briefly. I was going to make a separate video, but I think I can talk about them briefly here because I got some good ones. So I got three pairs of Dansko. If you don't know what Dansko is, it needs to be on your bolo list. They are work shoes for people in the restaurant industry or nurses, um, people who are on their feet all day. So I got these Dansko brown clogs. Um, they were not a dollar, but these are called Work Wonders by Dansko. Then I got, let's see if I can find the other Dansko. Well, they're buried a little bit, but we'll get to them. I got these glitter open toe stilettos by Aldo. I got these Ugg slippers. These are real Ugg, but now I kind of regret it because I paid up a little bit for them. And they're in fine shape, but the fuzz on the bottom is a little worn like you can tell these were worn but there's nothing wrong with them 
I don't know how much they'll go for. I mean, they're not going to go for $100 like most Ugg shoes, but they're in really good shape besides the fur being matted down. Then I got these Sam Edelman. They're velvet heeled sandals with this nice crisscross. Now, these were a dollar. I don't know if I'd normally pick these up, but these were in perfect condition. They're BBC, BCBG Girls flats, open toed. They're really cute. Um, I don't know what the resale would be. I know that BCBG doesn't do that great anymore, but they're in perfect condition and they were a dollar. These I was excited about. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it right. I think it's Seychelles, and I know these sell, these are good. These resell for good. These are nice wedges, tan, they're in like perfect condition. There's just some marks on the bottom of the sole, like on the insole, which nobody will even see, but they're in fantastic condition. This is another pair of dance goes that I paid a dollar for. So I'm gonna have to look into these a little bit. These are a little different than what they normally are. They're kind of like glittery loafers. So I don't know much about them. So this was a new brand to me, but these were so cute. Um, they're called Roxy and they are brown ankle boots but look at that and then they have the heart they're in perfect condition so cute we'll see how those do were these a dollar no these weren't a dollar I paid normal price for them but they were in perfect condition and I thought that they were really cute okay here's my third pair of dance goes they're in good condition. These were not a dollar. They're a normal price, but I just sold a pair kind of like these for like 50 or $60 a couple weeks ago. So dance goes are good. I wish I had some Purell because like I kind of get freaked out that they were worn in the hospital. So I found this pair of Steve Madden's and these are in perfect condition. They've got the ankle strap and the wedges. These were a dollar. Steve Madden's, they sell, I mean, they don't sell for a ton of money, but they sell. These were also a dollar. These are BOC Born of Concepts. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I find BOC Born of Concept shoes constantly and they're always in perfect condition um, so I actually have a good amount of them in my store I was kind of going to lay off of getting any more unless they were really great but since these were a dollar and in perfect condition I got them Let's see if I got everything oh these were a dollar oh no they weren't I paid full price for these these are just born, born slip-ons, and they're like a burgundy, a burgundy reddish color. No, more like burgundy. This is a brand I've never sold, but I know that they cost a lot of, I mean, a good amount of money to buy. Nope, these weren't a dollar. And they're in perfect condition and they're super cute. These are bass and you can see they're laced up and then they've got the fabric healed. They look like new. I mean, the shoes this week were great. And this is the first place I go is always shoes. And like I said, it was really busy and everyone was shopping for deals and I found like a ton of stuff. <laughs> I think if I took more time, I would have found more things, but I was kind of like, oh, I've got to look at everything before everything's gone. These are Via Spiga. I 
hope I'm pronouncing that right. These are like loafers in perfect condition. I mean, oh, there's a little scuff right here. But if you don't know this brand, this is a really good brand. I sold um, a pair of boots by them for like $75. And these are a new brand too. These are called, these were a dollar. They're Clark's. Well, so Clark's is a new brand, but these are called Clark's Unstructured. They look really comfortable and they're in really good shape. So I picked these up. Cause Clark's, I think Clark's does well. It's another one. Clark's is expensive and they're really good shoes. So they sell for a decent amount resell for a decent amount these were a dollar so these I've never sold before they're called Fioni but I liked the animal print and they're really cute and they're in perfect condition I mean the bottom has some stuff but I can clean it up I'm sure a lot of that will come off it looks like fuzz so for a dollar I picked these up I'm gonna try them I think they're really cute Okay, these shoes, I have no idea why I got them. I'm going to have to look them up again. I They were a dollar, but I've never heard of them. They're called Cruisers. Cruisers by Fitzpatrick. Have anyone heard of those? And um, do they sell? I don't know. If they don't, they were a dollar. They don't even, they're mediums. There's not even a real size. So I don't know. I must have looked up comps and found something. I don't, I don't know. But they've got like a cool kind of design on the back. Can you see that? It's like got a bicycle and a mom shopping with a dog or palm trees. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about them. These are Born. So Born shoes, I think, do better than BOC, Born of Concepts. Um, so Born, I pick up a lot. And these were a dollar. And they're in wonderful condition. Everything, really everything I got is in perfect condition. Um, so these are just brown sandals with ankle straps. And this is my last pair of shoes. These are Dr. Scholl's. So Dr. Scholl's, the comps. I have another pair of Dr. Scholl's right now in my closet. I've never sold them. But I did look up the comps for a couple of them. Have I sold them before? Maybe I have. I'm not sure. But the comps are good. And these have the ankle straps. Oh, I'm going to have to, I think... Maybe a crisscross. I'm going to have to look at these. Are they sling back? It's awfully long. So I think maybe it's a crisscross. But they're really cute. They've got that buckle in the front that says Dr. Scholl's. And Dr. Scholl's are comfortable. Like the whole shoe brand is about comfort. So, and they were a dollar. So I picked them up. I just need to figure out the straps. And then I have another pair of Dr. Scholl wedge boots in my closet that are really cute. These heels are kind of weird. Oh, there is some, there's some scratches on the heels. But they're like super skinny heels with some minor scuffing on the side. Hmm. Well, we'll see how they do. I really, really love the dollar, the dollar days at my thrift. I really would love to go. And then I asked um, if it was just, there's two thrift stores that I like to go to by me, two Goodwills. And I asked if it was just that specific one and they were like, no, the whole city has dollar days on Sundays. So I'm totally gonna go to the other Goodwill next Sunday and check it out. And I haven't been there in a while, so there's probably a lot of stuff because I haven't gone and picked a dry. Um, the other one that I went to this Sunday is the busier one. So I'm really excited about this haul. I think, so I paid $185. I am hoping to get around $1,000. I don't know, I'm actually gonna keep track 
of this specific haul to see how much I turn it over for. I think I got a lot of solid pieces. If you have any experience or if you want to just like make a guess of what you think that I could make off this haul, please write it in the comments below. And if you see anything that you like and you want to know the size or you know if you want to buy it, you can always email me at info at closethustler.com and I can invoice you through PayPal and then um, I can give you a better deal because I don't have to pay any of the fees on like Poshmark, eBay, Macari or any of those places. So definitely reach out to me um, if you like any of these pieces. But thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight and looking at my haul that I'm so excited about. Please uh, hit the like button if you like this video. It really helps me out and it really helps out my channel. And um, if you like this content, and I think that I'm going to be doing a lot more of this. I did um, I had three really good Goodwill hauls this year that I may go back and um, do a video on those. I don't, I've ha been having a lot of luck this year. So definitely hit subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of this type of video and I also do Amazon returns and I sell Amazon returns on um, eBay. So if you like things like that, hit subscribe and ring the or hit the bell so you'll be notified when I put up new videos. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.